Hey guys, what's up? This is Russ with RWGResearch.com. Today I'm going to try to help you out. Um, so a lot of people are basically trying to recycle um, parts because they don't have any funding for their projects. So I'm going to give you a little hint and hopefully help you guys out how to find parts, um, where at, and what you're trying to find them in. If you have something you're looking for, like a certain item, um, if you would like to email me and ask me, I've taken a bunch of stuff apart in my lifetime, and I might know where to get it. But if uh, if I can't help you, the best thing you can do, okay, uh, I will show you right now what the best thing is to do. Uh, let's say you have a schematic. Let's say it's something like this, um, and here it says uh, I need a 2N3055. This is my pulse generator circuit that I'm working on. So I need a 2N3055 transistor. All right, so here's what I do. Um, I go to the internet and I look up the data sheet. Um, alldatasheet.com seems like a pretty good one, but you can just go to Google, which is what I'm going to do, and type it in. So here we go. I'm going to show you how to do this. All right, this might be kind of hard to see. I do apologize. I'll try to make this a little bit better um, as we go along here. But let's say I need a 2N35, I'm sorry, 3055 transistor. I didn't even type in transistor, I just typed in 2N30, uh, 2N3055. Alright, and right here it says, uh, this says PDF next to it. Uh, you can't see what I'm shooting. Oh, there you go. It says PDF next to it. Um, if you find one of those right away, it's a great thing to do. Otherwise, you're going to have to click on a couple links, or I like alldatasheet.com. Um, works pretty well. So we'll just go to Google and try this. So I'm Googling, here I have the data sheet. Um, okay, now the first thing that you want to look at in this data sheet, in my opinion, if you're trying to find these devices uh, with, within some recycled material, is right here in the description. Uh, it tells you that it's a, a silicon, uh, I can't read that word, base plantar PNP transistor mounted on a, man that's a bunch of junk, can't read very well guys, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't want to read it to you, you can read it. Uh, okay, so it says right here, it is intended for power switching circuits, series and shunt regulators, output stages, and high uh, fidelity amplifiers. All right, so if you have any of those items, all right, then that's fantastic. Um, I would go look in those items. All right, now I'm gonna look up another one that would be a better example which is an IRF 460 and I've typed it into Google and unfortunately there's not really a PDF so just for fun I'm gonna show you guys I'm gonna to go to alldatasheet.com right here I'm gonna type in IRF uh, IRF 6 uh, 46 Z alright right there hit search all right, and I get what looks like this over here, data sheets. Okay, um, let's see if I can make this a little better. Oh, that's better. All right, so you got data sheets here, uh, and then below that you have all this information, and right over here to the left, I'm sorry, the right, you have the view. All right, so it gives you a little description here. It's really nice. I hope I don't get in trouble for using alldatasheet.com website because people are silly out there I'm promoting so hopefully they won't care so I'm gonna go over here to view alright and then you have to click on it again um, usually right here you click on it again and it brings up the data sheet alright now this is like huge but here we go uh, this is not the same data sheet I had earlier. This does not have the same stuff on it. So I'm gonna go I'm gonna go look up a different manufacturer. Over here on the left it's got other manufacturers right here. So I'm just gonna click on a different one. Uh let's see, that's I believe the one I want. Click on it again. Alright and here we go product summary 
Um, and this is what you're looking for in the product summary. It says, they are well suited for applications such as switching power supplies, motor controllers, inverters, choppers, audio amplifiers, and high energy pulse circuits. Um, so if you have any motor controllers, if you have any power switching power supplies, um, now the thing I would like to tell people um, is that you may not be able to find the exact component, but you may be able to find one uh, equivalent to the same thing. Um, now you can find these IRF, oh this is IRF 460, that's why it's different, but uh, you can find a lot of stuff and a lot of different things, but that's a good way maybe of looking up where you might be able to find a certain part. Um, a lot of the general parts like diodes and stuff, you know, they may not be it, but like a high, a high speed switching diode, you might be able to find somewhere um, by looking at the data sheet, like I know there's some in uh, television sets and um, CRT monitors. So you may be able to look up a data sheet of something similar, open up a monitor, and there's a high speed, uh, high sweet, high speed switching diode. And you may need to look up the part number and check the data sheets um, and see what they, what they look like if they're close. Um, most components are, will work with other components. There are a few special circuits that you must have the exact components for everything to work right. But, you know, if you're building something from a schematic that somebody gave you, it's possible you can find out where to get the chips or the electronics needed right from the data sheet. Um, it's, uh, oh yeah, that's what I get for loosening up the camera. So that's what you get for looking up data sheets. Um, you know, it, it works. Uh, it, it's time consuming. But, you know, when you don't have any money and you want to build some stuff that's what you gotta do so this is Russ with RWG Research um, I've got a little bit of time this week hopefully um, this is the week of starting August soon I believe I don't know but anyway uh, 2011 starting of August here shortly I think it's the 31st or it's the first I don't know and we'll, we'll be on the show um, I'll, be able to, I'll be trying to do some live shows I'm a little tired today you can see I'm mumbling but uh, I'm going to play with some stuff tonight. I might make another video or two. I got to do some other stuff. But it's Russ. Peace out. I hope that helped. If it did help, let me know. Um, if you have a question of where to find like some some something and you don't know where to look, um, you can email me. I'll put my email in the description. Or you can go to rwgresearch.com. Check it out. Uh, if you'd like to email me with a simple, quick question, where do I find this part maybe, hey, I'll try my best to shoot back at you and uh, let you know. Uh, printers, for instance, have a bunch of really good shafts, um, bearings, possibly. Hard drives have great small bearings, but they don't have very many big long shafts, obviously. So you might be able to get a shaft out of a printer and use the bearings off the hard drive. Um, just stuff like that, you know, they can save you some money if you don't have it. And I, like everyone else, just try my best to get through. So hopefully this video is a good thing for you, and I hope you like it. Russ. See you guys! I'm going to get some sleep sometime soon. Bye!